There he is. There he is. Dog. <laughs> this is a boy. The reason I hopped online is like it's not supposed to be a stream today, but shit's been going down, so I just needed to talk to to people. Uh, so. <laughs> Relatives or loved ones to fight <gasps> in the event of your death. Oh gosh, we're being what? raided. Candy Red, thank you for the raid! Yeah! Welcome in! Sorry I can't, like, my hands are kind of pinned down by a dog. <laughs> um, hi everyone, I'm Jen. I'm a comic book artist. I work on comic books. I know, shocking. Today's stream is not really my normal stream. Things have been happening. So I just needed to go online to talk to people because I have so many opinions and I'm basically just about to explode. So um, I thought that the wisest thing to do would be to go live on Twitch. <laughs> so it's my week off. I have been watching some videos, okay? And I, I actually watched a, a three of them or something like that on Twitch with you guys. And then I, because again, it was my week off. I want to do some hobby stuff, stuff that has nothing to do with work in a way, which is video editing. So I literally took one of the Twitch streams and I spent a couple of days sort of chilling, doing certain things and then like also editing down a Twitch VOD and then I put it on my YouTube channel. Um, but in that video we watched some art YouTubers and some of the stuff was like, you know, how uh, social media is fucking you up. Um, I literally just logged on to my uh, my YouTube. Do you want to see what the first recommended thing is? This might not work because my camera is, is fucked, but here we go. No, as you can see, my camera isn't there. <laughs> Hold on, everyone. But you see this one. Why I quit Instagram. And I haven't looked back. <sighs> is that all right? That's fine. Okay, yeah. So, we were watching videos about that. I have been watching videos about that for the past week, which is why my recommended is just videos about that now. Um, I made a, a Twitch VOD and um, it was just about like how you as an artist can get uh, have your creativity stifled by Instagram. Kelsey Rodriguez. So this is the person. Let's make art Utopia together. Fantasy, thank you for the follow, welcome in. Um, so we were watching her video here and um, I said something along the lines of if I am not on social media, I'm dead. Something uh, dramatic like that. Uh, and then we kind of carried on. So we were watching that and then the last couple of days I have been having a big think. So I'm not a commercial illustrator. I am not um, working for publishers right now. Things might change in the future, but like that's where I'm at. I'm working completely solo most of the time. So I do everything myself, okay? When you do everything yourself, you have to be your own entire marketing department, yeah? And uh, that we have to be on every single platform. You have to constantly be like grinding. Get yourself out there, everybody! And just like post everywhere and yada yada yada. And, you know, I'm like that because if I don't, as I said in that video earlier, if I don't post at a consistent rate, I'm dead because people do not remember you. Attention is fleeting. People who might be interested in that Kickstarter, for example, or anything else that I do, you'll probably be distracted by something else and you forget about it. And then um, it's only when I then poke my head out again and I go, hey, do you remember me? I exist. Then some people go, oh yeah, I was supposed to buy her comic books. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But like it, it requires me to constantly be like <coughs> having like keys in front of people being like, hello, hello, hello. That's like kind of how it works. Except I'm not sure it does anymore. So that's kind of why I need to have a chat about this because I think I'm about to quit, <laughs> basically. <laughs> the TLDR of this stream is, I think I'm quitting social media. Uh, I may come back with my tail between my legs, but I think I'm actually going to quit it because it's not doing anything for me anymore. Uh, and yeah, if you happen to be like a, an artist and you have um, and you have Instagram and Twitter, like, let me know. How, how is that working out for you? Like, are you getting paid through that? 
Because I'm talking purely in, in terms of business here. That's it. I've set up a Mastodon account and I'm following Jen there now. Ooh. In case you're wondering. Oh, wow, here's my Mastodon account. Yes, I have one. I fucking love it there. Yeah, don't quit per se. Just do it when you feel like it. The stream would still help with the commissions, I would think. Yeah, I mean, um, on a personal note, I'm closed for commissions and I've been closed for over a year. So um, I think that's also why probably social media isn't as relevant to me anymore. Maybe? <laughs> Ooh, opinions are hot takes. Have you considered Twitter? Oh my god, it's such a garbage fire right now. <laughs> Did you make lots of cash from commissions? Define lots of cash. Because here's the thing, okay? Um... I'm gonna try not to get like too farty about this, but like how do you define like making it? For me, making it means that I can do my job full time. Um, I can earn enough that I can just work from home. But that also means that I have um I don't do many of the things that people would normally do that would improve their lives, you know? I don't go on holidays. I don't have a car. I don't go outside. I don't really do anything other than work. <laughs> My hobbies tend to just be still sitting indoors. I mean, we were, we were going to go to a pro wrestling event yesterday, but it got cancelled. I can survive on what I'm earning, but it does mean that, like, I don't do anything. So the moment you want to have, like, it depends on what you want out of life. Do you see where I'm going with this? Like, it's, it all depends on uh, what you consider to be lots of cash for your situation. For me, uh, yes, I earned enough. Uh, before I totally gave up on social media other than Twitch, I used Mastodon. A couple of things that people were regularly disappointed by uh, were firstly that not, it's not easy to become big on Mastodon because it's not designed to algorithmically promote your account yet if you start to get traction. Also, there is still drama there. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not fluffy. Okay, no, 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 no. People exist, so nothing is fluffy. Don't ever think that Mastodon is this beautiful utopian place. It's, in my opinion, better than Twitter, much better, but it has problems. Terrible people exist and they will find a way to be terrible. Hold on, my, my ex-roommate has been pushing social media for close to two decades. And 90% of his streams now are just rants on how little the streaming does for his bank account. Oh, no, no, no. Streaming should IMO be for sharing the joy of the art. Yes, oh my god. Okay, I, sorry, I'm getting stunlocked by this too for a second. <laughs> Yes, uh, I have said this a lot of times on, on Twitch as well, that um, anyone, I, first of all, I totally get if you want to make Twitch or live streaming your full-time income. Like, I get it, you, you do you, and like, I admire you, but also, I am really scared for you. Like, because I think you can't put all of your eggs in one basket, it's not sensible. I hope this is not like a hot take, but you probably will get burnt out because you have to be live all of the time. The ex rumoured essentially lives on Twitch. I actually am going to be making a horror comic about that. Like it's, it's, um, it's also in the works along with the, with the other one that I'm currently working on, which is about literally live streaming. Because it is, it is fucking dystopian. In certain in, uh, instances, uh, live streaming is horrific, absolutely horrific. Especially when you make this your entire job and you never log off. It's, it's not healthy at all. And yeah, I do. I am, I am working on a horror comic for that because I've, I've been feeling those vibes. Okay, so. Right. I've been on Twitter for <laughs> over 10 years. I've been on Instagram for a while, but I didn't use it. Uh, uh, I have been on... I've tried loads of different platforms that just kind of spring up and then they die. I've been on Tumblr, but you know, when they nuked all of their uh, smutty art, which apparently they are now walking back on. I don't trust it because once you've nuked all of the smut art, I don't trust that you're not going to do it again. So I'm not going back there. But apparently Tumblr is now um, adult content friendly again. But I used to be there. Now I'm not. Um, what else?
else is there? What am I missing? A skunk! Yeah, I was on that. I like, I have been on social media like my entire internet life. Yes, I was on Newgrounds. Yeah, I am on DeviantArt. The point is, <laughs> I have been on social media. I have very much been programmed by it, I think, to be honest. And uh, I genuinely believe that I would not have a career if it wasn't for social media. Um, back in back in the day, I got a lot of my commissions through Twitter. That was ages ago. But yeah, Facebook as well, before I killed that off. Um, word, a lot of word of mouth. Pretty much nothing from Instagram. Uh, but we'll have a chat about Instagram in a second. But basically Twitter has been really, really good for my, for my art and my comics, yeah? Before they fucked it. And as we probably all know, at the moment, um, things are going down on Twitter right now. Uh, we won't go into all of it, but you know, um, some, some bozo uh, bought it and it's all, you know, there are layoffs and things are just getting a bit out of hand over there. But like, even before that happened, I have been complaining about Twitter for quite a while because I've been feeling like even though my follower count has actually increased, I feel like uh, my actual, I hate saying it, but engagement has like pff, just plummeted. So like when I had like half the followers, I've got like 3000 followers. Okay. So I'm, I don't have a lot of people there, but when I had like a thousand followers, uh, I feel like that I, I had a lot more, um, like commissions and things like that. And just people being interested. But like, as the years have gone on, I feel like my, my posts either my posts are shit, I don't know, or whatever, but like, they're just not getting seen anymore. And I've heard that people basically saying, oh, I didn't even realize you had a Kickstarter on because Twitter won't even show it to them. <laughs> and yeah, Twitter is a cesspool. Yeah, so like, literally I've been talking about how Twitter is just, it. Um, you kind of have to think about the fact like, first of all, what is it doing for you? So for me, it was getting me money. So it was getting me connections with people who would then commission me. And it was reaching out to people whenever I had uh, Kickstarters on or anything like that. And they would go and pledge through Twitter. Now I can see in the back end of Kickstarter, like where the clicks are coming from. And let me tell you, they're not coming from Twitter anymore. Most of the clicks are coming either through Kickstarter from people who have like pledged to me before or like friends so it's basically the digital word of mouth it's like friends of people who have pledged to me before or i get it through um my mailing list so there's a lot of people who go through my mailing list or like patreon and stuff like that who will go go through and pledge yeah so twitter for some reason it's just dying for me and it has been dying for a long time and I felt like um, since last Christmas, like last Christmas, I deleted Twitter and Instagram from my phone because I was like getting a, like I was very addicted to it. So I would just get up in the morning and instantly just be like, like a little monkey, just like, oh, scroll forever. I don't understand why I'm so sad. And I would just be like that. Like the first thing that happens in the morning is you wake up and you check Twitter. Like that's not fucking good for you. So the first thing that happens is that you get like your brain blasted with like miserable news or whatever. And even if you like, I try to tailor my, my account so that I wouldn't see all of that. I tried to have like, Dumbbell, my precious. Uh, hi, hi Jen. I'm just passing by. I really don't have much time today. Oh my, my God. You might have already precious. left at this point, but reading what the uh, thing that you oh dropped from God. Twitch, Insta and engagement dropping down, I can only say that I'm keeping my fingers crossed for you. And maybe this one thing I'm don't doing now will help you a tiny bit. Time. Oh, thank you. Yeah. It really does. It really does. Thank you. <laughs> Fucking hell. Trust me. Fresh. The artists I know who have started doing reels on Instagram have gotten a better engagement from it. <laughs> Or we'll get to Instagram, trust me. Social media and drugs are the same, Jen. Oh yeah, I've, I've got... Let me show you a book that I was reading last, uh, last Christmas. Oh yeah! If I can find it. Is it here? Are you here, my darling? Yes. I, I can't recommend this enough. What? What the fuck? Oh my god, hold on! Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Look, I wasn't expecting that right now. <laughs> so anyway, so I just found that with Twitter, um, my engagement and everything has just over the years slowly been going down. Um, that was the book I was trying to show you, but then everything goes, went, you know, nutty. So I read this one over Christmas, last Christmas. I deleted my two social media apps on my phone which was Twitter and Instagram. And I was just like, if I'm not enjoying it on Twitter anymore, then it has to be good for my job. Because otherwise, what is the point? Uh, so I've been keeping an eye on just how much traffic and how much I get through Twitter over the last few months. As I said, I feel like it's just been going down. So enter Instagram. As everyone knows, Instagram is like, the artist's platform. It's like supposed to be an image sharing platform. Do you remember those days, chat? Before it became about videos and reels. There are loads of um, videos about Instagram being shit for artists. That all of these artists are saying this, the, the same thing that I was feeling, which is like, it's not working. And it doesn't make me feel good. So what's the point of it anymore? The reason why Instagram is a bit different for me is because I do spicy things. And I'm very aware that um, spicy work is not tolerated by Facebook's Instagram. So I'm very aware that my account can just be removed at any point. And I have also felt like posting art onto Instagram, maybe I'm just a boomer, but it's not a good experience. <laughs> like, it crops the art, which is fucking annoying. Um, you can't put any links in, which is fucking annoying. Because they want to keep you on the app for as long as, in case it wobbles, as my husband um, currently wrestle kicking a giant penis. I'm angry. Angry at Instagram. I want fucking links. <laughs> yeah, you are oh. not a boomer. <laughs> Oh, thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Art on Instagram? Nah, you're just nostalgic. I know, right? Linkstagram. Yeah, so um, in everyone's like a slave to the algorithm. So there are loads of YouTube videos about like, this is how the algorithm has changed in 2022. This is how you have to play the game to be able to be seen. Because you can't just post your art and be seen. That's not how it works anymore. Um, you have to do certain things in a certain way. It's like its own full-time job to try to become someone on Instagram. Um, and I was just like, I'm not even going to try that. Because like posting art on there, and also another thing, it doesn't belong to you. Think about how much time you're putting into posting your stuff on Instagram. And like, they can just take that away from you. You don't own it. So, you know, at any point, they can just be like, bye. And like, I know of friends who are artists who have had their accounts deleted, basically. I like the comments ban on Instagram that ask you to promote your work or DM for designs. Oh, God. And this is just my experience, okay? So maybe you love it on Instagram, but like, I can't... I don't, I don't feel good when I'm on there. I don't enjoy putting my art on there. And I never feel like anyone sees it. Also because I'm only on the desktop app, I don't have it on my phone, remember? I don't have all of the features. So I can't put, um, what are they called? Stories and shit? I can't do that. I can't change my links. Oh, link. The one link you can have in your profile. I can't change that because I don't have my mobile phone. Um, 
And other things as well. Anonymous just bought your studio essentials till the sent via throne.me. But yeah, I think because I, I was very aware that they didn't allow um, adult content of any kind, I never really started putting serious attention or serious work into my Instagram. My Insta is just like 1,500 followers or something. I'm just, I'm just checking if I'm talking shit or not. Oh, good thing I didn't show that to you because it's literally an ass right on the screen. <laughs> 1,500, yeah, 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 yeah. So, um... My... Capsule Core just bought you Jackson's ceramic. This is fun. So, um, the point is, personally, I am not getting, en like, enjoyment. Um, I'm not feeling inspired by being on social media. And social media being Twitter and Instagram. I'm not feeling inspired by it. Um, in fact, when I go onto Twitter, it just feeds on cesspool like, shitty energy in there. I, that's just the vibe I get from Twitter now. And it just didn't used to be like that. I was on Twitter 10 years ago, and it was lovely. So it's just been going downhill. And the same with Instagram. I go on there, and it's just so fast. Again, not to sound like an elderly person, but like, it's so fast. And it's like, everything is over in a sec. Reels, boom, stories, which I only just realized you can hold down the mouse on it, and then it pauses for you so you have time to read it. <laughs> I didn't know that for the longest time until a lovely person in chat told me. Uh, by the way, I'm not on TikTok. My brain would just like come out of my ears if I attempted TikTok, okay? I can't. Like my attention span is already fucked over from being on social media for 10 years. Can you imagine TikTok? Like it would actually destroy me. So the point is, I am not getting any personal enjoyment out of Twitter and Instagram anymore. And I am not getting any work things through Twitter and Instagram. And I'm just like, why am I wasting my time on this? It's just admin work that I don't want. It's not getting me anything. So what do we do then? What did we do before, before social media brain rotted us? What happens if I just don't use my Twitter and Instagram anymore? If I just abandon them? I'm not going to delete them, by the way. I'm, I'm going to sit on my names. Um, but like, what happens if I just don't use them for a bit? Will it impact me, like, in terms of my business in any way? I kind of think it won't at this point. Right, so I am going to be putting out a post onto my uh, Twitter and onto my Instagram. I'm going to make like a picture or something where I'm going to be like, hi, I'm not very active on here anymore. If you want to find out more about my stuff, if you want to hang out, um, this is where you can find me. Just so people be, they can be like, okay, she hasn't quit life. You know, she hasn't quit art. She's still around. She's just not on these two shitty platforms anymore. So, like, not saying that I'm work damaged, but I kind of had this in bed last night. Um, where I was just like, okay, so. If I can't get my work through Twitter and Instagram anymore. Where do I go? The places where I am earning money so that I can be a full-time comic book artist are as follows. Patreon. My site studio membership, which is basically Patreon, but for, for people who don't want to use Patreon. Kickstarter. My web shop. Twitch is actually a new one. Itch.io. Comic conventions. Keep in mind that like, oh yeah, um, Discord doesn't earn me straight cash, but Discord siphons people to my web shop or to my Kickstarters. And the same with Mastodon. Mastodon doesn't earn me cash, but people go from Mastodon and then they like become a patron or they become a Kickstarter backer. And I think that's probably because I'm not open for commissions anymore. Maybe if I was open for commissions, Mastodon would earn me straight money. I don't know, but... 
Kofi. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Toshkin. That's a good point. Yes. Kofi tips also earn me uh, a bit of like coin. But those are like little things on the side. Um, so that's like whenever someone uh, on on Twitch, for example, they just want to throw me a, a toss a coin to your freelancer. Uh, they can do so through Kofi. I don't use Kofi like Patreon because Kofi is very not friendly to NSFW people. Okay, so keep that in mind if you happen to be someone who draws spicy things. That Kofi is um, connected to PayPal, so they are not um, NSFW friendly. A sales funnel. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I have to do this disclaimer. I know it probably gets boring for people who've been here before, but I'm just so terrified of giving shit advice. <laughs> it's obviously all from my perspective. So um, it's all of the stuff is not going to work for everyone. It might not even work for most people because, you know, you're not me. And um, but, I, you know, it, it could be a good little touching stone for you. So you can see like what has worked for me and maybe it can work for you. Maybe you can make it work better. For example, maybe you can make Instagram work better because I sure as fucking can't. <laughs> Kofi doesn't do any payment processing uh, directly. I thought Kofi was only created with PayPal, Kalein. Have they ch have they changed it up? I thought Kofi was cr was literally a tip jar for PayPal, and that was it. Whatever processing you attach to it, they are clear in their terms. You are you are bound by the processing company. Supreme Borg, thank you for the follow. There is another payment alternative. I forget which. Like Stripe? Is Stripe there? That's interesting. They might have changed that up. Uh, payment processing for spicy things is an absolute nightmare. Yes, I'm very tired. <laughs> the, it, like the thing is, um, if you can find a platform that is actually going to support you, um, you know, then you can invest your time in that. And the same with, with Crowdfunder. Um, which I've now tried my first. Ooh! Ooh! Hold on. I have to be very careful because it has got a little painted nipple on it. I'll, I'll cover the painted nipple. Uh, I've done my first crowdfunder, which is basically a Kickstarter platform. You can probably tell by the name. And crowdfunder are also openly totally fine with smutty content. Look at that. Can you see that? Can you see that that foil? Ooh! I'm not, I'm trying. This camera is so shit. Can you see? It, they just arrived. Ugh! Plan now. I have to go very soon. I'm sorry, guys. The plan now is that um, I am going to do um, an update on my Twitter and on my Instagram, where I'm gonna be like, "Hi, I'm not using you anymore for a little bit, and we'll see how it goes." And then. What I'm going to be doing instead is linking people to things. So, <clears throat> so for example, this is hopefully good advice for anyone else who's thinking of doing the same. Um, if you want casual chatter, um, like maybe like you used to get on Twitter or on Instagram, then you will be able to find me on Twitch. Hello. Wow, look at us. We're on Twitch right now. Hello, Kaylee. Wow. Um, <laughs> sorry. Was that a bit too much? <laughs> I need to go eat something. Um, you can find me on Mastodon Art. Um, I'm sure there is a link in chat at some point. I don't know. Mastodon is lovely. We can have a chat about that at some point. I just need to go. And Discord. Discord is also very nice. Uh, it's much more chill, but it's like, it's nice. So if you want casual chatter, it's Twitch, Mastodon, or Discord, yeah? If you want free art updates, um, my website has it. So my website has, obviously, in the work section, you have a bunch of my art at the very bottom of the work section. Um, content warning, it's spice. But at the bottom, you have two free samples, free tasters, we call them, of my hentai. Please be aware that it is BDSM... Esque. So it does deal, it's basically it's fetishy. So it deals with power play and monsters and things like that. Just just be aware, okay? <laughs> so that exists. And my, my webcomic Skarl exists. That's free, obviously. 
you can read that for free on my website um, and also my what I'm gonna start hammering home a little bit more and see if I can get an easier link there is a link literally on the first page of my website my mailing list so whenever I do any kind of updates for anything like um, like shop updates or Kickstarter's coming or something like that. Obviously I'm not spamming it, but like whenever there's anything that people should know about, I will send out a mailing list update. So if you want to keep in touch with like your favorite artists and stuff, definitely subscribe to their mailing list. It's like one of the best ways to support people without giving them any money. Because it also means that you're actually like for in terms of like me, I'm able to have some control over followers so it's not like you're stuck on a platform um, and then if I leave that platform I'm down to zero again a mailing list is just kind of there and you can have it with you you can cuddle it it's very good we love it very much do you remember email everybody yes I do anyway um, and also YouTube which I am gonna be doing more of because I really enjoy it uh, I just need to have time in between doing the comics. But yeah, I'm currently filming um, several things. So I am filming the next From Art to Finish, which is going to be the horror comic page. So if you want to see how a comic page is made from from start to finish, um, you can go and have a look at the first one I did. I did and it has like um, a voiceover of me describing what I'm doing. Um, I'm also doing the uh, survival thing for like um indie comic creators that's gonna be a video that comes out at some point when i fucking finish it i'm gonna be doing a new uh impress gen where i just live on twitch try new art supplies and then i edit it down and i put it on youtube i'm going to be doing probably some kind of video related to social media shit Oh, are we done, are we? <laughs> we're not done. We're done when I say we're done. Bluetooth mode. You will not leave until it's. I say it's fine. Yeah, so um, YouTube is definitely going to be, become more of a thing. Also, I'm really enjoying cutting down Twitch VODs. Again, I'm not sure if anyone's watching them, but like... I like making them and I like watching other ple people's like cut down Twitch VODs on YouTube. Ooh. So, you know. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so that you can you can find updates there. All of this is free. Totally free. And um, if you want to support with money, then um, Patreon, the studio uh, membership on my site, uh, Kickstarter, Itch.io and my shop. Which literally, I, I would say that the best way, obviously, to, to support me is to buy my shit. And that's the same with any artist. Buy their stuff. Just buy their stuff from them. If they, I mean, especially if they're like indies uh, who haven't got publishers or anything. Just buy their stuff. Um, and like being a patron or being a site member or whatever is like an amazing way to keep things, you know floating along because it's like this little stable pay every month which is just very good yeah you tell that lamp <laughs> so yeah so basically that's what I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be making like a little list of like this is where you can find me for casual chat for free art stuff and paid art stuff so it's like three tiers of like do you want to keep in touch with me you still can. You don't need Twitter and Instagram to keep in touch with me. In fact, Twitter and Instagram is shit. <laughs> so I'm going to be trying that. Um, I don't know if it's going to work. I might be crawling back to Instagram and Twitter in a couple of months. Or maybe in a couple of days. Who knows? We're just going to have to try this. But I genuinely don't feel good on those platforms anymore. And I don't think they're doing anything for me. So what is the point of them? And I think that's it.
Can you imagine being one of the richest people, if not like the richest person in the world? And you're spending your time on Twitter? <laughs> what a loser! <laughs>